I'm very optimistic, and my optimism is not based on uh, what negotiations, uh, on what is happening to negotiations, but my optimism is based on the mood of the people on the ground. Their confidence, their militancy, and their impatience with apartheid. I think our people have decided that we are going to dismantle apartheid. And I think that is what causes optimism. Optimism is based on the fighting militants of the people. I, I think for me it's, it's, uh, it's really material what the Clark does ultimately. The people will have a democratic South Africa. And I think no armed force or whatever can stop this process. I think we've reached a situation in South Africa where we are no longer prepared to live under apartheid. And we are ready to make whatever sacrifice to get that democratic South Africa. Comrade Krizani was uh, a decisive uh, leader in our movement. He expressed his views without fear or favor. But once decisions were taken, he respected the collective positions of the movement, thus making him also a disciplined comrade who respected the principles of democratic centralism, which is a dialectical combination of freedom of discussion and unity in action. He wanted service to the people as we discussed. He was not self-centered and great. All he wanted was the national liberation of our people and women from gender domination, workers from capitalist exploitation. One thing he would like to change is the persisting high levels of inequality, unemployment and poverty. He will tackle corruption and corporate state capture. These challenges are threatening our country's transformation democratic transformation. Comrade Chris Zani was a, a decisive uh, leader in our movement. He expressed his views without fear or favor, but once decisions were taken, he respected the collective positions of the movement, thus making him also a disciplined comrade who respected the principles of democratic centralism, which is a dialectical combination of freedom of discussion and unity in action. He wanted service to the people as we discussed. He was not self-centered and great. All he wanted was the national liberation of our people and women from gender domination, workers from capitalist exploitation. One thing he would like to change is the persisting high levels of inequality, unemployment and poverty. He will tackle corruption and corporate state capture. These challenges are threatening our country's transform democratic transformation.